D, the house of favor. Why don't you rise on your feet, wave one hand to the Lord Jesus and shout hallelujah. Let's begin to give him praise for one minute. Let's adore him. Let's worship his holy name. Because he's good, he's God. He's Jehovah God. He's the Lord God of Israel. Let's just say thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We adore you. We lift up your majesty. There's none like you. There's none that can compare with you. Glorious in holiness and fearful in praises. Lord, we worship you. You don't cease to amaze us. We worship you. We give you praise. Worship his holy name. We thank you. We thank you. You are the root of Jesse, the father. And you are also the seed of David, the son. How come? It's so marvelous. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. You are both the lion and the lamb at the same time. We say thank you. We say thank you. We worship you. Blessed be your name. 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 We worship you, Jesus. 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 Let's just worship God for one minute. Let's worship God for one minute and just sing to him and just adore him. Let's tell him who he is. Let's lift up our voice in adoration. Let the lifting of our hands be like the evening sacrifice. We say thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. Great Father of glory, pure Father of light, than angels adore thee, unveiling our praises who render oh help us to see it is only of let's sing one more time great father great father of glory your father of light, thy angels adore thee, unveiling their sight. All loud we will render, O oh, help us to see. Worship you, Jesus. Of light I dare to all life thou givest to all great and small. Shall I never cut a number of a can do the Ragabakas Cataliba Parianas Catalina, we blow we blow some we blow some as we sleep on the dream and we the and perish but not change and we worship you, Jesus, unresting, unhasting. As no one lift your hands to him in worship. Lift your hands in worship. Lift your hands in worship. Rabash Katalaba. Like mountains. I saw it above. Like clouds which are fountains of goodness and love. Lord, we cry out this morning. We cry out this morning. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. Great Father, pure Father of light. Have your way in our lives, Jesus. 
Who are we without you? Who are we without you? Who are we without you, Jesus? Who are we without you, Jesus? Who are we without you, Jesus? Without you, Jesus? Immortal, invisible. Please give it praise, everybody. Most blessed, most, blessed, most, most glorious, glorious, glorious Father, that's our heart's cry. You know if we have all the time, we'll continue to worship you. You know, for time and space that constrain us, it's our desire. We bow before your throne. Jesus, King of Zion, throw your weight around this morning and show the devil who is boss. Let your name be glorified. Thank you, Father. Sweet Holy Spirit, we thank you for your presence already. Let your word cause deliverance. There's someone here, the Lord said, the bad news you are agitating is coming, is canceled. I don't know who the person is. said that bad news you are agitating that is coming is cancelled. Lord, we thank you. We give you praise. Blessed be your name, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please shake two people. Say the blessings of the Lord will rest upon you. In Jesus' mighty name. Second Kings chapter 11 verse number 1. I, I celebrate and thank our Father in the Lord in absentia and thank him for this um, hand of fellowship. And I pray that this meeting this morning, the Lord God of Israel will meet with us in Jesus' name. It will not be the usual, but we'll go home with a blessing. Okay, how we go home with a blessing? I said we will go home with a blessing. If you believe that, shout Hallelujah. All right, 2 Kings chapter 11, verse number 1. Now, put it on the screen, then we'll read together. Everyone in the auditorium, let's read together. To make it very easy, you can look at the screen, if you can see. Then we'll read. One, two, go, everybody. All right, pay attention to this story. Verse number one, he says, and when I like, there's a way I like to call that name. He said, when Ataliah, Ataliah, the mother of who? Ahaziah, saw that her son was dead. She arose and did what? Destroyed all the seed royals. Uh, Isaiah was a king. When the king dies, what's the next thing that should happen? One of the heirs would take the throne. But instead, Ataliah arose and did what? 
destroyed all. Let somebody say all. The seed royal. <laughs> she hijacked the throne and said none of them will reign. I want you to declare. Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. I will reign. Whether the enemy likes it or not, I will reign. Say my birthright, I receive it. Say it one more time. Say my birthright, I receive it. For the third time, shout it. Say my birthright, I receive it. The, all the seed royal, their birthright was the throne. But instead, there is this woman called Ataliah. She did what she arose and destroyed the seed royal. Everything contending for your throne. As the Lord lives, the God of Israel judges them. Yeah. Now, this morning, we're going to be praying for the few minutes that I have. And you are going to be asking God. Whatever is contending with your birthright, God of Israel will do what? We judge them. Say amen like you're a believer. Amen. Now, but let's look at that scripture one more time. This woman called Ataliah. Let somebody say Ataliah. Now, Ataliah destroyed all the seed royals. Destroyed all the seed royals. Somebody shout, say Ataliah. You are a liar. Say it very well. Say, Ataliah, you are a liar. Where I come from, when you say Ata, it means what? It means pepper. I don't know what it means in Igbo. Maybe Pastor Caleb will tell us. Praise the Lord. Now, everything peppering your life, peppering your destiny, today, God will judge them. So, with passion, say, Ataliah, you are a liar. Say, Ataliah, you are a liar. I declare everything contending with your throne. God of Israel will judge them this morning. Now, this is where, if, if, you, if you can put the message version, if you find it. Now, Ataliah, what Ataliah did was this. All the seed royal, there are many homes where there will be boys, where there will be destiny that are supposed to take the throne. What Ataliah did will go, to, will go to this house and the children will see her. And they will say, oh, welcome grandma, welcome grandma. They thought grandma wanted to bring out sweet. Grandma brought out a knife and shook them. Went to another home and they said, oh, grandma is there. Gather everybody together. Welcome grandma. And grandma brought a knife and shook them. Ataliah killing destinies. Ataliah strangulating destinies. So that she can take over the throne. Put it in message version. If you find it, then we can read. Uh, if you have it. Okay, let's read together. I want to go, everybody. Ataliah was the mother of Haziah. When she saw that her son was dead, she took over. Everyone taking over your seat, your battery. God will unseat them. I don't like how you are saying amen this morning. I told you it's a prayer session. Everyone taking your seat. God will unseat them. I said everyone taking your seat right now as we speak. God will unseat them. She took over. Continue, sir. She took over. Ataliah took over. She began to do what? Read, everybody. Massacring, ma ma massacring the entire royal family. But you know what? These days, Ataliah do not use knives again. Ataliah's a friendship, companionship, business partnership that want to strangulate your destiny. Ataliah's are on Facebook, they are on Instagram, they are not even on Snapchat. Ataliah's, you even call some of them slay queen, they are slaying destinies. Ataliah has some Uncle waiting to carry you on by the side of the road. When no church member sees you. But the intention of Ataliah in the Old Testament and now is the same. To do what? To strangulate destiny. To massacre destiny. Every Ataliah waiting for your children. In their school where your eyes cannot see them. Every Ataliah waiting for your family. Every Ataliah planning to strangulate your destiny. 
by the God of Israel, the King of Zion here this morning. Oh God of Israel, we judge them. There are Talias waiting. You are spiritual, born again. Maybe an ordained pastor. But Talias said, well, we have given up on you. But targeting your child, targeting your teenager, targeting your boy, targeting your girl, where you cannot be. Ramatakato yabandis katalia duskata. Stand up in one minute and declare. Say, my father, my God. Say, my father, my God. Let somebody stay on the keyboard for me. Say, my father, my God. Every powers of Atalaya, I declare this morning. Holy God. Judge them. Pray one minute. One minute prayer. One minute prayer. In your life, in your destiny, wherever it's manifesting, every manifestation of Atalaya, Every representation of Atalaya saying that I will not get to the throne. Are you here to pray this morning? I thought you came to church this morning. Esketorunazanta. Rema Pababa. Can you put energy, my brother? Can you put energy, my sister? Oh, Ranas Ketelabadegedesta. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout amen three times. There's are not there's some Atalaya customers. Diabolic. They want to just come into your business or partnership and run you down. You may not know, but the God you are praying to today will judge them. In your corporate place of work, some are liars because you are standing for righteousness. They want to frustrate you, make you to compromise. They are targeting your spiritual destiny. I don't know who I'm speaking to this morning. Whatever manifestation of Atalaya. God will judge them. Your children, your children, children. You may be standing as an husband, standing well, and Atalaya goes to partner with your wife. <laughs> Atalaya goes to partner with your wife. Standing well as a, as a woman. And Atalaya goes to partner with your husband. The target is the same. One of the the churches we planted before, not in Calgary where I live right now, before I came across the story. This beautiful family. Beautiful family. Christian family. Everything was going well. And God blessed them. Even the father got some special advisor with the governor of the state somewhere here. Money was coming. Everything was going well. And they sent this boy abroad. To go and study. Before he left abroad, he was even part of the Christian fellowship. Everything going on well. Somewhere in Europe to study medicine. He started and he was assigned to a roommate. I'm telling you what I know. And in the evening, after studying, he said, You know, here it's cold everywhere. He said, he said There are some girls there. There's some girls. There. It's just 10 euro, 10 euro. Pay them 10 euro and the code is gone. Somebody say Atalaya. Don't forget, he grew up in a Christian home. Father praying the Holy Ghost, mother praying the Holy Ghost. Everybody surrounded with a siege. The enemy has been looking for a loophole all along. There was no way. And he got there. The friend has been doing it. He joined and did only once. I'm telling you what I know right now. Suddenly, he discovered he, he, they discovered he had a mental problem. He began, he talks to you, I will behave, he's talking to this person. The study stopped. The money wasted. We dropped back to Nigeria. As I'm speaking right now, no way to go. They are praying day after day from one hospital to another. Atalaya has been looking for entry points. Right now, your family is disorganized. I want you to pray one more time. If you can't pray even for your children, if you can't pray even for your family member, raise your voice. Say, in the name of Jesus, 
every powers contesting for the throne, for my throne, for my bad rod, I declare, oh God, judge that one minute prayer, 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 sir. Rema kato sopranik ashataya, rema gadus kata paria makate ye, e paruba kashataya, meli gadu kato ye bala bakasete ye gede, moria mas kata boru makata ye, zem boru bakate paru nakata ya ba. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout at a liar, you are a liar. Shout at a liar, you are a liar. Shout at a liar, you are a liar. Whether you like it or not, I will make it to the throne. Listen, instead of Atalaya, what should you pray for? There are Atalayas that want to strangulate your destiny. <laughs> they want to stop your destiny. You know God called you into politics. You've started everything going well. Atalaya just comes and says, let's do some diabolic things. And if you have relied on God, you get to where you are going to. God will judge at a liar. Verse number two, because my time is expiring now. Verse number two, we're staying on that second Kings chapter 11. Verse two, look at, the, look at it. We can stay on the New King James Version. Verse two, the Bible says, don't forget in verse number one. The Bible says, at a liar destroy how many of the sweet How many? How many? How many? All of them. <laughs> whatever that is killing them will not kill you whatever that is killing them will not kill you but look at verse number 2 the Bible now says in verse number 2 he said but <laughs> he said but he said but Jehosheba the daughter of King Joram the sister of the dead king Isaiah she took who? Joash Kapayamanaba Atalaya has thought that all the seed royals were dead. Atalaya has assumed that she has killed everybody. Atalaya thought all the destiny has been massacred. Look at verse number one. They thought it has been massacred, but there is a Jehosheba. God is sending Jehosheba to somebody. God is sending your way, Jehosheba, that will back you up to destiny. Jehosheba, that will back you up to your throne. Between where you are and your success is just one person. Not even two. It's just one person. There is a Jehosheba. Jehosheba took Joash. <laughs> she took Joash. Put it on the screen. The Bible says she took Joash and she stole. That's a good stealing. She stole him from among the king's sons, which are slain. Kapaya bakataya. Raise your voice. Listen. You may not be where your children are. And God will just send them a... Ah, you are not, you are not hearing me. <laughs> and God will just send them a... Jehoshim. And just be hearing, mommy. I don't know. This person just came around. A Jehoshim spiritually. A Jehoshim academically. A Jehoshim that will make them... What they will not even listen to from you. That they will listen. And you will be amazed. What is happening? A Jehoshim... My time is expiring. You're going to raise your voice like you have never did before. Say, my father, my God, on behalf of the family I represent, oh God, send Jehosheba that will back me to destiny, that will back my children to destiny spiritually, that will make me to grow, that will make me to be fulfilled in ministry. A Jehosheba that will establish me in ministry. A Jehosheba that will bring what I'm looking for. A Jehosheba that will connect me that we connect me can you pray you are looking for a wife you are looking for a husband why don't you raise your voice and pray for Jehosheba why don't you raise your voice and ask for Jehosheba why don't you pray why don't you raise your voice and ask that angels like Jehosheba Jehosheba like angels angels like Jehosheba Jehosheba like angels locate me locate my daughters locate my spouse locate my wife locate me Ranaka Epranaka are you in service this morning? Are you in service this morning? Raise your voice and pray. 
Ramates katopor bakata. Ivre oskata baria na kashkata. Poria magadus kete kete. Berege deke debo. Ramakabaka de kashkata. Poria poda poskata por ramanashkata. Ina kata kada berege debo koto koto. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Every atalaya on your way, God is judging them. You are receiving Jehoshabas. That verse number two, the Bible says, she stole them from among the king's son, which are slain. There was blood everywhere. They thought everybody was dead, but somebody was exempted. Somebody you'll be exempted. Whatever that is killing them will not kill you. Your children are exempted. Whatever is kidnapping them will not kidnap you. You are exempted. Whatever is stopping them will not stop you. You are exempted. She stole him from among the king's son that was slain. But something very important, very important. Pay attention. The Bible says, put it on the screen back. She stole them from among the king's son and, and they hid him. Let somebody say hide. They hid him. Even him and his nurse were in the bedchamber from Atalaya away from destruction so that he was not slain. Verse number three. So that he was not slain. They took him away. They eat him. Atalaya taught here. Verse three. Want to go everybody read now with me. Want to go? And he was with Ah. Eat. Where? Where? While Atalaya was raining. Look for six people. Touch them. Say hide yourself. Six people. Say hide yourself. In the house of the Lord. Hide yourself in the house of the Lord. No, look for number five. Number six. Hide yourself, sir. In the house of the Lord. Hide yourself in the house of the Lord. Now pay attention to me. If you don't want the harrow of Atalaya to reach you, what do you do? Hide. What do you do? David cried in Psalm 27. He said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? He said, when the wicked, even my enemy, my foe came upon me to eat my flesh, they stumbled and fell. He was like, one thing have I desired. That will I seek after. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord. And behold, his beauty in his temple. He said, in time of trouble, he will hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle, shall he hide me? Say, Father, I hide myself under the blood. Take one minute and hide yourself. One minute, hide yourself. One minute, hide yourself. Hide your children right now. Secure your destiny right now. Maramanish katalia bakataya. Urozun kata preni katish kata. Ovreni kato soprana. Kepori anaha. Epregedus kete. Lebregedus kete. Demanaska. Epregedus kete. Deboronas kandeha. E fro paku kato kataya. E paku kataya balaba kataya. E poku parama kataya. U soprana kata lebrege de boko rabaka shata. E pranga rabaka sata. Lebrege de bo. Je paku pakataya baraba kata kata kalaba kata. E brege de boko rabaka sokoto. Lebrege de bo. E glaba kata kataya. He will give his angel charge. Untouchable for the enemy. In Jesus name we pray. I beg you to hide yourself. Coming to church, skipping one Sunday, coming to church, waiting for only when there is, when there is something to, to do, you are not hiding yourself. You're supposed to be a worker, you are not. You are not hiding yourself. Pay your tithes, you can't do. You are calculating, shortchanging God. You are not hiding your finances. Hide yourself, my brother. Verse number eight. Hide yourself. My sister, hide yourself. Don't expose yourself to the enemy. Verse 8, let's read together. Don't expose yourself to the enemy. Hide yourself, I challenge you this morning. Let's read verse 8 together. I want to go read, everybody. And you compass the king, how? Randaba. <laughs> and he that comes within range, let him be slain. Pay attention. If you have an LT new, um, amplifier, you can put it, you, you, you enjoy it very well. What they are saying is that when they when they eat the king, they position guards from this side to that side. They build an and they said, if anybody tafili fili, oh, I, I, I don't know how to interpret that. If you, if you, if you, if you, you understand. If you see anybody 
Fire them. That's what they are saying. If you put amplified message or something, you get the answer. They say you 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 surround the little king. See, young king. Each man with what is weapon. That's how the angels are surrounding you right now. They say whoever comes through, any fly that you see, fire. Any fly, what do you do? Fire them. And you now protect the king when he does what? Goes out. And when he does what? The Lord will hide you. 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 Rock of ages. Clap for me. Let me have myself in thee. Let the water and the blood from the river side which flows be your sin and the cure Brethren, the mission of Atala is very simple. It's to perform D and C. It's to abort destiny. D and C is to double cross you and collect what is in your hand. You are carrying a bat ride. I'll speak more about that in the second service. Where you are carrying a bat ride. What Atalaya want to do is to double cross you and collect. Sometimes it's not only D and C, it's DKC. It will double cross, it will kill and collect. Bow your heads, everybody. If you are here, you have not given your life to Jesus. You are doing yourself a great disservice. Anybody here, you want to say, Pastor, I just need you to pray for me. The battles that I'm facing is too much for me. I want to surrender my life to Jesus. You have not given your life to Jesus and you want to do that right now. You are confused whether you are born again or not. You are not even sure. As we raise this song again, I want you to just stand on your feet and raise your hand above your head and make sure today that you hide yourself. Or you are living in sin. I want to rededicate your life to Jesus. No, the labor of my If you want to give your life to Jesus, I'd like to pray for you. Just stand on your feet and raise your hand above your head. Anybody in this auditorium, you want me to pray with you? rise on your feet and raise your hand above your head if there's anybody like that you want to give your life to Jesus raise it above your head so that I know how to pray you want to rededicate your life you want to surrender your life to Jesus if there's anybody raise your hand above your head you go you came to church today if you are raising it to raise it well above your head then we can pray together not in it my hands I bring thank you Jesus thank you Jesus you raise it above your head and put the other hand on your head and we're going to pray together right now thank you Father I bless you to live on me alright if you are standing up I want you to come forward if there's anybody like that, just come forward that we can pray together. Don't miss the opportunity. Thank you, Father. Let's bow our head, everybody. You want to give your life to Jesus? Or you want to rededicate your life to Jesus? This last minute is for you. Then we're going to pray together. You are not sure of your salvation. You want to hide yourself. Before we take the last prayer, I want to pray with you right now. The Lord is waiting for you, sir. <laughs> the Lord is waiting for you. Don't wait for anybody. My brother, begin to talk to Jesus. There's somebody out there. This is the time to hide yourself. Begin to pray to the Lord. 
and ask him that you want to rededicate your life to Jesus. You want the power of God to come afresh on you. You want a new story to be written. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. I'm going to pray right now if there's no other person. Maybe this is the only person right now. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Everyone, rise on your feet. Rise on your feet. Put the last verse of that chapter on the screen. I'm going to drop the microphone right now. Everybody, rise on your feet. Raise your hand to heaven. Say, my Father, my God, where you have ordained that I will get to, I will get there. I can't hear you. Where you have ordained that I will get to, I will get there. One more time. Where you have ordained that I will get to, I will get there. Put verse 20 on the screen. Verse 20. 2 Kings 11, verse 20. Just put it on the screen and we're going to use it to pray. Let's read one to go. Everybody celebrated the event. I don't have time. The event was that Atalaya died. Every Atalaya would die. And the city was safe and undisturbed. And they had killed Atalaya with the royal sword. Every Atalaya facing you, the royal sword will judge them. Verse 21, last verse. And that's your prayer point. Verse 21, everybody. Put on the screen 21. Put it on the screen, sir. Or put King James Version and put verse 21. King James Version and verse 21. Everybody read. Joash was seven years old when he became king. All the orchestra. Okay, I thought somebody would clap for Jesus. Your final prayer point is this. Say in the name of Jesus. Where the Lord has ordained for me, for my children, I will get there. Raise your voice and pray with passion. Welcome to TOD, the house of faith.